टी आर क्रिएशन ट्रांसपोर्ट रिक्वेस्ट क्रिएशन कॉन्फिग्रेशन क्रिएशन ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ओके सो दट इज फाइन सो टी एम एस कॉन्फिग्रेशन टी आर इंपोर्ट इज अंडर बेसिस रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टी आर क्रिएशन रिलीज इज ट्रांसपोर्ट ओनर दे विल परफॉर्म दि टी आर रिलीज टी आर क्रिएशन दे विल परफॉर्म दि दे विल टेक केयर ऑफ दि आल कैंड ऑफ वर्क राइट सो दट इज फाइन सो ना let's start discussing about the let's start discussing about the so while importing the tr normally we know how to import munch select the transport request click on the truck symbol import request the tr it will ask the which client you want to import select the client then go back options then you can choose the options these are the options so depends upon the company depends upon your customer you need to choose the import options here so here you can see the clear import option why we have to choose it here so you want to import the request again then you need to choose this one you want to import override the originals just you can select this one we want to ignore the unconfirmed repairs why because in the objects you have any repairs are there that will be override so like that there are the some import options here so generally first three or first four last one we will we have to select it for any customer then just we just click on the import option the tr will be imported see here the truck symbol import is running this is our responsibility every day bulk transport request we have to import it either hundreds of transport request we may have to import like this here this is under basis responsibility right so sometimes while importing the transport request sometimes it may failed so failed means Zero four fine eight maybe transport owner issue. Sometimes you may get the RC twelve some red symbol you will get from here. Like that how we got the red marks here. Same way he will get the written code twelve. So which means written code twelve means so something is not working in the SAP system. What is that something here? You need to go to the so here to check the logs here. you need to just go to the transport tp system log or import history so tp system log tp system log is here here you will see the tp system log you will find out the error transport error import history import history also you will get the so error so you know, someone deleted meanwhile someone deleted the tms configurations see here while i am explaining here someone already deleted tms configurations csr chandra that is what the people is doing here chandra chandra is there here no i will forcefully we can forcefully terminate the user right just select it here we can we can also terminate forcefully select this one sm04 go to the session he is opened the transport management system then delete the session he will be logged out from the system he is kicked out from the system here see here that is what the people are doing okay fine so here rc12 rc12 means written code 12 which means if any issues with the tms configuration or we may face the we may get the rc12 written code 12 so written code 12 means most of the common issues may be so there are the four things here we need to remember always one is the whenever you are creating the tms configuration one user will be created right tms adm user will be created here this is we will call it as the driver in our language right so there are the rfc destinations road road means rfc destinations two rfc destinations will be created tms adm star then tms sup star two rfc destinations will be created here so these are the road transport road here driver and road here right so one more thing here we need to remember is like 
so job job means vehicle here so vehicle here job means vehicle that job name is called the rdd imt dp here fuel fuel means to run the job to run the vehicle we need fuel right so here also to run the job rdd imp dp job you need one btc work process should be free right so in any case while importing the transport request in any case while importing the transport request here so while in any case while importing the transport request here so they are the four things you should keep in your mind one is the this user should not be locked then this rfc destination should be working then rdd imp dp job should be rdd imp dp job should be rdd imp dp job should be so should be running here rdd imp dp job should be running here so this job should be running here right so otherwise so your tr will not be imported here so this will be this will be running status when you go to the sm37 so right so just go to the so your rdd imp dp click on the execute button so this job should be so running status this job should be so it should be running status here right it should be running status this job should be running status in the system here right it should be running status in the at least production it should be the running status here right so that is what here we can do in the system here running status that is what we can do it in the system here so let me check what the sandra is there let me sign off screen then we cannot log in now system in any case we will not log in while we are discussing here so without informing we deleted the tms configuration now again it's it's a very disturbance to the all other others see trans directory so in any case in any case if this is not working this is not working there are the four main reasons here in any case tr import is not successful means there are the four common reasons here four common reasons here right one is the 04812 four common reasons means one is the user tms user two rfc destinations one job one be one job here so either this four any one is not working then you may get the rc12 your tr will not be imported to the your respective target system your respective target system tr will not be imported here so normally outside of the sap topic i will tell you the one small example so you have the one city here you have the one more city here you want to give the parcel here right you have the one parcel you want to hand over to the other city person so there is a rfc destinations right tms adm rfc destinations here tms adm rfc destinations here so you should go from here to here the tms rfc destinations you should go to the here so without destinations means without road destinations means here road so without road without road so how can we go to the other city and we will place the order here no right this is also one of the reason road means here rfc destinations here so here if you are going by road but here there is a one vehicle right a vehicle means so normally if you want to hand over the any parcel or anything one vehicle on the road it will driver will drive that one and it will it will drive to the your target system right it will drive to the your target system right so it will drive to the your target system here you will it will drive to the your target system here so here you are driving from here to source to target you are driving then so in case vehicle vehicle means your rdd imp dp job in sm37 the that is not working then you have to go to then 
then if the road is working then vehicle is there then road vehicle road vehicle driver who is the driver tms adm driver then fuel is there so in any case either this four any one is not working here then tr will not be moved to the your respective target system here respective target system here right so that is the one thing you should remember here right one thing you should remember here right so user tms adm user driver will drive will drive drive on the road will 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 drive on the road to the from source to target system so in case vehicle is okay road is also okay if the user means driver is not good is not enough to drive it then definitely the tr will not be moved here then driver is okay road is okay then vehicle is not good then also your tr will not be moved here this three are okay then there is no fuel then even though tr will not be moved to the target system so here while importing the transport request these four reasons these four objects should work right then only you can hand over the then only you can hand over the data you can hand over the data from source to target system here source to target system here that is what you have to check here right user road job fuel this is what you have to check in the systems here when you are working in the systems here this four should be working here if the user is not working go to the se01 we can unlock it rfc destinations means sm59 we can check it out vehicle job means sm37 we can check whether your vehicle is working or not here we can check it out in sm60 in sm37 we can check it out here whether the the job is working or not here we can check it out right whether the job is correctly running or not any issues we can check it out this job should be finished run it should run automatically in any case this job is not running you have to go to the sa38 or se38 you need to execute the rdd new pp rdd new pp you have to execute it here you have to execute this report then so if you execute this report this job will run right this job will run here rdd impdp job will run so interview point of time they may ask you so if the job is not running what you will do i will go and schedule the one one report in sa38 or sc38 rdd new pp pp report <laughs> we have to schedule it report we have to schedule it to run the job to run the job you have to run the report here right that is the one important thing you should know right so that is the one thing here and also there is a one fuel should be important fuel should be required here then only so if the job then only uh, job is okay road is okay everything is okay if there is no btc process how the job will run how the there is no bl how the vehicle will run right so that's the reason when you are working in the transport request management if something is not working mainly four things you should know you should comes into the, your mind the first user tms adm user two rfc destinations rdd imp dp and one btc work process here one btc work process here here four things you should so you should keep in mind here okay this four should work here otherwise your tr will be failed your transport request will be failed here to check the logs here so go to the same trans directory here in the so log normally bin means tms configuration buffer means imported transport request co files and data files means so when you are releasing the transport request your request will split into the two files co files and data files here k9 and r9 eps means support packs imports time eps will be used here then log log means here they are the a log s log u log they are the log files so if you open the log file here 
how the transport requests are getting imported is there any failures so all the information will be tracked here all the information will be tracked here a log s log u log a log s log u log it will be k it will be imported logs here related all the import logs we can check it out here in the so a log s log u log here we can check it out right so in the sap names who are the transport developers those names will be displayed here in the sap names storage nothing temp directory the temporary files will be available here this is the history of the what transport directory here and also these are the common issues we may face it user rfc destinations vehicle so here right these are the common destinations you have to work it out here when you go to the sm59 go to the here here you can see the rfc destinations here so here it's already deleted someone deleted but here in the sm59 we will see the rfc destinations these destinations are responsible for transports import plus plus right user in sc01 cms adm user should be required so these are the destinations here right so these are the very important to consider if any transport issues we have to check the error logs these are the written codes the main issues these are the, either anyone can cause the transport import failed so if the destinations are not working we will check in the sm59 we will fix it out user su01 so the job is not working here we need to run the one report reports are programs we will where we will execute sa38 or se38 we will run the we will execute the reports here right so one job one fuel fuel is very important here if we want to run the job definitely here uh, btc work process is very important here right so these are the things we should consider right so any any questions from anyone regarding the tms configurations transport group means so all systems will use the one trans one common transport group that is called the common transport directory so normally every system there is no separate trans directory for each and every systems here all systems will use the one common trans directory that is called the usr sap trans here so this system also will use the same this is also will use the same this is also will use the common transport directory here so that whenever this is a source development we will export it here we will export when you are exporting this will be stored data will be stored to the here co files and data files this is the import this is the import so this is also import here this is also importing the data here so source development we will export it here data will be located here from here to here we will import it here from here to here we will import to the system here so all systems will use the same common transport group groups we have to set in so maybe in the stms itself in the stms itself we will get the now its configuration is not there in the when you go to the systems 